everyone. We just finished the pitching event in Bangkok and we're here with the regional winner, Thomas from Splash Post. Hi, Thomas. Can you let everyone know a bit uh, what is Splash Post all about and who are you? Sure. So my name is Thomas Kjellgaard. I'm born in Denmark. I've been in Thailand around four years. Uh, this is my second startup. Um, it's called Splash Post, as you just mentioned. It's a software as a service that works uh, for businesses on Facebook to go in and do literary marketing within Facebook's newsfeed. So they can go in and do a multimedia interactive posts that will help them collect leads, do promotion and sales uh, right within Facebook's newsfeed. So businesses on Facebook now have a way to actually turn the likes into leads uh, without the users have to leave the newsfeed. So everything takes place right within the newsfeed so they don't have to, to leave it, yeah. And are you already on the market? Does the product work? Can we use it? Yep, it's uh, been live for around six months now, I think. Um, we went to TechCrunch uh, in the beginning, um, got some traction there. And um, then, you know, you get a lot of users in, you find out all the bugs, you get a lot of complaints, and then you start to fix all that. And um, But now it's going really well. Uh, we have a lot of users, most in US. Um, using the product, they're very happy with the product, so um, it is live, splashpost.com, um, and users are happy, and we are have a, like a long roadmap um, in the future. Yeah, in the head of me. Yeah. Um, were you have you always been an entrepreneur? Is this a career choice that is recent? Uh, you said that you launched two startups, so uh, so this was in the time frame of the last four or five years. Uh, that's correct. Um, it's around three, no, 2010. Beginning of 2010, uh, I was a co-founder of a company called PageMoto. Uh, it was also software as a service uh, for people uh, to go in and customize their Facebook page tap. Um, so I've been working on Facebook, yeah, since literally I started. Um, and we built that here in Bangkok as well, uh, me and my co-founder, Jacob. And uh, we sold that after eight months uh, to a company called Webs.com in Washington. We then worked with them uh, for one and a half year. They got acquired by Vistaprint. So Vistaprint acquired, literally, uh, they acquired Whips and PageMoto. And we were lucky we got out uh, pretty, pretty fast. Um, so that was my first uh, startup, which we also did in Bangkok. And then this is my second one. Before that, I just worked uh, in a company in Denmark where I did some marketing and stuff in like an audiovisual company. But uh, I all, like I say, all my life I already knew that sometime in my life I wanted to have my own and so it just more or less just happened. And uh, why become an entrepreneur? Mm, why become an entrepreneur? So I don't really like to work, let's say it that way. <laughs> um, for me it's not work, right? It's a project. It's something that I do. I love what I do when I wake up. I'm doing it 24 hours a day. I'm doing it seven days a week. I'm doing it when I'm in the car. I'm looking at the phone every day because it's not work. It is a passion. It's something that I love to do. And that is literally just the reason I'll do it. I cannot see myself go and have a job where about I'm looking forward to weekend or I'm looking forward to vacation because it's maybe a little hard to say because if, I think if you're in that situation, you should get a new job. Yeah. Completely true. Um, what is the main challenge that entrepreneurs face in Thailand? Mm, the main challenge from tech perspective, I will say development. Um, it's hard to get good, uh, high-skilled developers. Okay, it is actually the case worldwide. Um, but it's, it's personally, I think it's uh, especially hard here. Um, also, the language is a barrier for someone who just come uh, from the outside. Uh, so the language and um, the skills of, of competing globally uh, was some of the uh, things that I faced. There's also other issues about the government. Uh, if you want to set up a, a, a business when you're a foreigner, unless you're from the States, the States, they have a different uh, agreement. But, um, but bottom line, I will say that's probably the, the thing that most people face. Like, find talent, literally. It's still difficult, yeah, it is. Um, okay. And uh, as you know, we're a Swiss initiative. So what does Switzerland mean to you? I'm looking very forward to get to Switzerland. <laughs> I've never been there before. Um, I know Victorinox, uh, which is the, the nice knife, right? Um, and uh, that's literally, um, I mean, that's literally not all I know. Um, I had some meetings with people from Switzerland before, but um, I'm looking forward to go there, <laughs> let's say it that way. Well, you're invited. Okay, great. Thank you very much for your time.